In this video, I'm gonna give you an inside look into how the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing Program works and how you get started building your very own book publishing business. Hey, what's up everyone, Ralph here. So if you haven't heard, Amazon has this program that allows users the opportunity to make money uh, publishing books on the Amazon website. So what makes this program so popular? Um, there are three things that I think makes the program very popular. And the first thing is the fact that Amazon allows you to publish their book on their website for free. So it's not like you have to hold a bunch of uh, books and stocks in your house or in your closet. And then if somebody makes a purchase, you gotta, you gotta send it out um, to them um, all you gotta do is upload the, the content of the books um, digitally and if somebody makes a purchase Amazon's gonna send it out for you so that's very convenient in terms of like if you're if someone that's looking to make money uh, the second thing is the fact that Amazon has this platform where millions of people are searching right I think for a lot of people if you're trying to sell something finding um, people that want to come by finding uh, people that are interested in buying what you have it can be the hardest hardest part right um, the fact that they have millions of people that are coming onto this website um, looking to buy and get creating great opportunity for you if you can create a book that sells um, to, to reach a, a large amount of people the third thing is the passive income. If you create a book that's, that's, that's selling and that's hot, then that, that's an opportunity to make money while you're sleeping. That's, a, that's something that everybody wants to make. So um, those three things are, I think, a good reason like a why, why it's so popular for why a lot of people are, are looking at this opportunity to publish books on the Amazon website as an opportunity to make you know, passive income. Um, so how you make money uh, with with the Amazon website, right? So the, there are two ways, right? So if you're someone that, like I said, had a lot has a lot of following, so it'll be easy, right? And it's also if you're someone that likes to write, right? This is gonna be an easy way for you to you know write your own books, and then obviously you have a lot of followers. You could say, hey guys, you know I just published this book. If you're interested, uh, just go on the Amazon website and you know just make a purchase, right? But I'm pretty sure that most people on here probably don't have a large following. Right? So you're probably someone that's just looking for another extra way to make a little bit of income online or just, you know, probably have, find some way to supplement your income. And, and you know, so you're, you probably don't have a lot of following. So the second way is to have someone write for you. And this is what I think most people do when they're getting into the book publishing business and, and putting on Amazon. I think what, what a lot of people are doing is they're, they're finding people, they're creating, they're, they're focusing on marketing, you know, creating a, a, the way to market their book, but they're having somebody else write for them. So if you're someone that like, that's like me, that doesn't like to write, it's just, you know, writing stuff, typing, writing, anything like that, um, it's just, it's just a, it seems like too much work. You can outsource that work to somebody else and they can write the content. They can write the content of your book for you while you focus on marketing. Marketing, right so you can have somebody you can have a ghostwriter write that stuff up and then you can you could while while they're writing you can just focus on uh, ways to market uh, market your book so like so what are the keys to um, finding success with publishing books all right so there are two things right now for example let's just do this like if you're if you look at YouTube right if you're gonna be successful on YouTube you're gonna need two things right people are gonna have to you got to create good um, thumbnails and then also good titles, right? If somebody, if you're, if you're, some, if you're someone that's creating content on YouTube, in, in order to really be successful on YouTube, you got to get someone to click on your video, which is you. You have to create a nice little thumbnail, and then also you have to have a title that that tells people what what you know the video is about. If you don't do any of these things, people aren't going to look at your video. So the same thing, it's, it works the same way when it comes to your books, right? You're going to have to have an amazing cover, and then you also going to have a title because these are the things that people are looking for. So when you're scrolling down an Amazon website and you're looking at books it's it's what, what catches people's eyes that is that book cover right that's gonna be the first thing people like they're gonna they're people are visual they're gonna see that book cover and they're gonna say oh this interests me then they're gonna look at that title and see if it's something that relates to what they're looking for so if you're going to be successful when it comes to um, this book publishing business you need to make sure that those two things you know th th these two things are the most important things the key factors in being successful you got to make sure that book cover is on point you got to make sure that that book cover is captivating it's catching people's eyes and also you got to make sure that title is, is the title where people People are saying, "All right, this is this is what I'm is what I'm looking for." So if you have those two things, um, more you're more than likely you're gonna have people that's going to click on that book, uh, look into the contents, and have more. Uh, they're gonna be more apt to buy uh, your book. So how do you get started with this Amazon KDP business, right? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna you wanna pick out a niche, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the Amazon website, all right? You're gonna click all, okay, and then you're gonna go to Kindle e um, e readers and books, and then you're gonna go to uh, Kindle books. And right from there, you want to make sure you go up on the top and it says categories. So when you go on these categories, obviously you have a bunch of niches and you're going to select one. So let's cook. Uh, let's pick the, the cookbooks, food and wine. Now, if you go all the way down, right, 
uh, you're gonna see that it has a bunch of searches. So it says over 50,000 search results. So that's a lot of people like looking for that um, that particular niche. So you, what you want to do is you want to obviously that's a lot of competition. You could really talk. You can talk about you know food, you know cooking and wine, but there's a lot of lot of competition. So you, what you want to do is you want to niche down uh, where there's a little bit less competition, but there's still a good demand for that. So what we're gonna do is that um, on the on the left hand side where it says cookbooks, food and wine, you want to go go down, and he, these are all the niches that. That you want to look at okay so you have you know baking uh, canning and preserving so you want to break you want to go down here and pick pick a particular niche where uh, you can focus on and let's so let's pick uh, low budget right you know we got the we got the pan we got the recession here everybody's worried about that you know inflation uh, so everybody wants to find ways for cheaper ways to, 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 to you know to, to, to eat meals so over here you see on the top it says 3,000 results right so it's, it's less people that are looking for this uh, but it's still a high demand right so that's that's the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you you're, you find your niche and and and, and put, pick a particular niche that 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 has not too much competition but still um, high demand so after you selected your niche the next thing you want to do is uh, you want to go search through book covers right like I said the most important things are the book covers and the title so when we're going through book covers you want to look at what's available and you want to see what like catching eye. you want to see what other people are you know are using and and you want to make sure you like all right what what's what's popular what people are clicking on um and you got to find the find out what pop, what stands in your what pops in your eye so you can see this one right here it says cook once and for all this one stands out you see a woman cooking some food this is something that you know that would that would make me want to click right also you have this other f one where you have two families and you have the child there and you have the bunch of groceries these are things that that you want to that, that that grabs your attention that people may want to click on so what you do is once you do that and you find out something that that when as you're searching and it grabs your attention what you're gonna do is you want to go on Fiverr right all right so you want to go on Fiverr and obviously like for for Fiverr you want to make sure that you you outsource uh, that you know the book design to someone else and if you go on Fiverr you can see that was like $35 another one for five dollars uh, 30 about thirty dollars ten dollars um, you can get somebody else to create that for you okay create that book cover for you while you're you're focused on uh, marketing and everything you can have somebody create the design for you um, while you can focus on the more important things right so then after that the most after after you figured out which you know which uh, book cover works and you want to put you choose and you've already outsourced that uh, book cover to someone else the next thing you want to do is you want to find somebody that writes the book for you okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on upwork right all right so then you want to go you go book you want to go ghostwriters and you know you click on ghostwriters and you can see what you know you can see what people are hiring for uh, you see this one is twenty six dollars six seven cents forty dollars uh, thirty three thousand an hour um, so you have a bunch of people thirty eight thousand hour thirty five thousand hour so once you have the content you want to make sure that you can outsource the, the writing content uh, for to someone else while you're focused on the marketing right so you want to focus on um, you know the book covering you want to make sure how how you can get that 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 book out to so people can click on so instead of wasting the time writing the contents and then come up with your own design have someone else do that for you and why you can focus on just the market now after you've hired someone on Fiverr and also on Upwork the next thing you want to do is is, is find a, a title so like I said you want to go back here and then look at you know look at all the books that are out there you know the popular books that are out there and you want to like look you want to scan over all the books and then have something that uh, you want to find a, a keywords that that people everyone else is using because obviously keywords are important important right you want to just be like create a book and then just throw any title on it you want to create a title that other people are looking for and the interesting is if, if you ever been on Google and you start typing in Google then you see a bunch of um, words popping up these are words that people are actually looking for on Google the only difference is that when people are looking on Google they're not really looking to buy well Amazon has the same thing right and if you go on the Amazon website and then you click on uh, and you go on the search bar let's uh, let's go for healthy recipes like if you look at it, it says healthy chips cook Cookbooks, feet, old keeps, but obviously you want to be a little bit more specific. So let's go healthy recipes, okay? So like you see, there's words popping up. So let's let's look at healthy recipes on a budget, right? So that's exactly what our niche was at. What niche is about low budget um, recipes and stuff like that. So this one says healthy recipes on a budget. That's a title that you could use on your book, and you can keep going on on you know when it comes to these things like on a budget, and then see what pops up. So healthy recipe on the budget, but there's a whole bunch of things. But you want to just focus on finding keywords that other people are looking for. And the great thing about Amazon is that when these people are looking looking on Amazon, they're looking to buy. Okay. So when you come up with that title, you want to make sure you go into Amazon um, um, search bar and type out the keywords that that are relating to your niche, and then see what pops up. And then whatever is popping up. 
you try to use that as a title. And these are the titles that people are actually looking for uh, when it comes to searching for books on online. So what should you expect when it comes to, um, you know, going, getting into the, uh, you know, book publishing business? So I know a lot of people out here, they probably think, you know, we're gonna make a lot of money. It's gonna be so easy. Anything that's worth it is, is gonna take a little bit of time, right? So this uh, is a learning curve when it comes to, to trying to create and publish these books. But the thing is that, the great thing is that there's so many positives in when, when it comes to building these books, when it comes to like passive income, the fact that you can get your book published for free. But there's so many things that you need to to really understand in order to be successful with this. Don't think you're gonna just come in here, um, you know, on here and just like, oh, just sell a bunch of books. It takes time, just understand it does take time, but with a little bit of effort and a little bit of work, you can get it done. Right. So don't just don't don't come in here and think you're going to get very rich quick. Um, it does take a little bit of work. It takes a little uh, uh, you know, learning curve. But if you really put in the work and the effort, um, you could fit, you'll figure it out and you can definitely make, you know, you know, there's a lot. There's, there's people out here making hundreds of dollars a day, um, you know, a couple thousand dollars here a month. Uh, so these are things, you know, depending on how much effort and how much work you put in, you could definitely build some success and make some money online with this. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below. Hit the like button and share. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, right? So you guys take care and have a good one. Later.